What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the shop. Uh, I'm just getting down some reels, busting the hell out of them. But I got in this customer's reels, um, and they're all badass. But he's got one reel with his handle on it. And it's pretty sick. I, I've seen them online. I just haven't seen them in person yet. Um, before I get to that, though, he's got this pixie. He's got the Pixie, uh, what is this, the FX68 or the PX68. Um, but he's got this mega finesse spool on it. You can see that thing. I mean, that thing is incredible. It probably holds like five yards of like two pound line. Um, but it's a BFS spool. Did a full cleaning, tune, all that kind of stuff on it just to uh, bring it back to life. It's in absolute great shape. There's just a couple little... Uh, like, I wouldn't say corrosion. It's just spots where it gets wet. Or if they stay wet, they kind of tend to bubble like the paint does. Um, so he's got that reel. Then he's got the Core. The Core 51 MG7. Another great reel as well. Um, same thing. Cleaning, all that kind of stuff. Pretty slick. Nice finesse. Power finesse reel. Just because it is a... Uh, a little bit deeper spool compared to that last one then he's got an og one of the og daiwa souls with a sv spool that he's put into it um again and then the uh og cork knobs these are really hard to get if you can find them they're like 100 bucks a pair right now um which is which is a lot for some knobs but when you see this handle over here it's uh, pretty insane what that thing is, but this is an awesome reel. This is super durable. It's kind of like a pixie. But it's it's a heavier reel. It's a little bit more rigid. Um, these things weigh like five and a half ounces. This is like six and a half ounces, maybe a little bit more. But these are amazing little reels. These were great for cranking and all that kind of stuff because they were slower gear ratio. But the SV spool makes it a very versatile finesse um, cranking weightless worms all that kind of stuff this is a great reel it's in phenomenal shape for as old as it is and then a mega bass fx 73 sv awesome reel i was actually gonna email him and say hey man how much do you want for it uh so i can add it to my collection because i've got a couple of the uh the t3s and i've got a couple of the mega bass ones but i don't have this model and again, this thing is in phenomenal condition. Um, the cool thing is the side plate is clear. It's a clear Lexan. Same with the nose piece. It's a clear Lexan. It's got the SV spool. It's in 7.3 to 1. Just a really cool reel that uh, Mega Bass collabs with Daiwa. And they kind of take it to their own extreme. It's got the... Uh, the super mag dials and all that kind of stuff for uh like long distance short distance and then the last reel is not a Daiwa. it is another shimano it is a calcutta conquest 100 to 101 because it's a lefty but he's got this carbon handle on it and it's carbon knobs so these knobs are actual carbon fiber this whole handle assembly the handle, the knobs, the, the four bearings, you got two bearings in each one is 18 grams, which is incredibly light. This is probably one of the nicest carbon handles on the market. And uh, I couldn't think of who made it. And then I did a little research at Studio Composite. But this thing is flat out incredible. I was looking at the knobs and trying to find the knobs and the, uh, the handle. And I found the knobs for like 180 bucks. Which came with the knobs, the caps, the bearings, and then the handles again, like another 180 bucks. So you're probably looking at like $325 for this handle. Um, that's pretty absurd, ridiculous, over the top, not needed to go fishing. But um, yeah, it's pretty crazy. It's incredible. I mean, it's super light. It's durable. The, the grips feel incredible. Whatever coating they have on it is really nice. Um but yeah, 18 grams opposed to like 30 grams for most of the Shimano handles. So it's almost half the cut and half the weight. I mean, this reel doesn't feel heavy at all. 
The only downside is it doesn't have a swept drag star, so it kind of hits the uh, the handle when you want to tighten drag, whatever. But yeah, three hundred twenty-five or three hundred fifty dollar uh, handle assembly for an already badass Conquest One Hundred One. Um, yeah, that handle's sick. I mean, it's just stupid, but whatever. It's awesome. But that is it. He has some really cool reels. I'm going to finish up tidying them up and all that kind of stuff, wiping them down. And uh, talk to you guys later. Smash that thumbs up, guys. Appreciate you guys for watching. And uh, post down below how crazy is that handle. It's insane. It's absurd. But it's awesome. You know, guys like their high-end reels and they like their accessories with them. So we'll talk to you guys later. Peace.